Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Always so grateful to have you with me and thankful that you're a part of this Bible study as we study the Word of God together. It's a joy even as I read these and I think about the things that we're sharing together. I'm growing in the Lord as well. The Lord is blessing my life and it's just a joy to me to know that you're being blessed with this teaching as well. So today, as we study together, let's go to the Lord in prayer first and ask him to bless our time together. Heavenly Father, it is a joy, again, to have your word before us. And day by day, you give us the opportunity to know who you are, to know what your business is in this world, what your interaction is with us, your love toward us, your grace toward us, Lord, and that you want us to abound in our relationship with you. And today I'm just so grateful for myself and for everyone that's listening to these words that we can grow in our knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bless us today, we pray in your word. We give you thanks for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is More Bold to Speak. It's taken from the book of Philippians chapter 1 and verse 14. Although Paul the Apostle was in prison when he wrote the book to the Philippians, he understood that his bonds furthered the gospel. He knew the good news of Jesus Christ spread not only into the palaces, but also in all other places where it could be heard. In chapter 1 and verse 14 of his letter to the Philippians, we see how Paul's bonds influenced others to be more bold to speak the word of God. We read, and many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. The verse begins, and many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds. Paul once again directs his words toward many of the brethren, or those who were fellow believers in Jesus Christ, whom he knew. He stated that they were waxing confident, which means to be persuaded, to suffer oneself to be persuaded, to be induced to believe, to have faith in a thing, to believe, to listen to, obey, yield to, comply with, to trust, and have confidence or be confident. When the other believers saw the bonds of Paul because of his sharing of the gospel, it only emboldened them to share it too. It was as though Paul's imprisonment inspired them rather than making them fearful like we might believe. The verse goes on to say, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Not only, only were these fellow brethren inspired, but they actually became more bold to speak the word and note how they spoke it without fear. Where there may have been a time when these brothers were fearful to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, they were inspired and boldly proclaimed it without any phobias for doing so. As we ponder these words of Paul, we might ask ourselves, are we boldly proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ? Do we hesitate to share with others when opportunities arise for us to do so? How would we react if someone we cared about deeply was imprisoned for sharing the gospel? Would it inspire us and make us more bold to speak? Or would it intimidate us and make us fearful? Hopefully, we would all find ourselves waxing confident as others we know paid a price for sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord give us all the boldness to speak as we ought to speak whenever occasions arrive to do so. Next time, Paul shares how the brethren spoke the word in different ways. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.